Okay, I've been often asked over the years and uh, a lot lately about setting the correct armature spacing when you're changing an armature. It could be a custom wind, it could be anything. And what's the correct end play? End play being the amount of front to rear uh, travel that the armature has. And we'll go over that in detail. Uh, a very good method how to accurately set that without taking the car apart, putting it together ten times. Uh, the, but first though, especially for the uh, new people, we have to make sure that uh, we ex fully explain what's meant by high downforce and low downforce magnet setup in the car because that has a direct effect on how you'll space the armature. Okay, so the easiest way to to check this, just take, let's look at a stock Tomy um, Tyco X2 car, 440 X2 car. All of the traction magnets are of the same polarity. Okay, that's useful because we can take any one and know that all, they'll always be the same. Uh, let's take, I've got one marked with white tape on the back of it, top of it, so we can easily tell that. Okay, so that is the stock Tyco magnet. Let's look at a Tomy Super G Plus car, and we'll see that on this side, the notch side attracts to that traction magnet but the top side will attract to the motor magnet. That means they're opposite poles, this and the back of the motor magnet. Because that side attracts there, but it'll repel here, and the other side attracts. That's the high downforce setup, and it'll be the same thing on this side. The top surface attracts to the traction magnet, and the notch side attracts to the motor magnet. Okay. And it's high downforce because we have opposite poles here. When it lays on the track, the rail completes the magnetic circuit and gives you more downforce. Now what that tends to do, what it will do, it distorts the motor field in such a way that it wants to push the armature forward. If we look at just a, a bare chassis, this is a Panther chassis, with bulkheads, motor magnets, and an armature, no spacers. The armature naturally will find the magnetic center. And you can see the spacing is equal on both ends. Okay, but if we go back to the Super G Plus car, you'll see that's not the case. We have more spacing in the back than we do in the front. That's because the armature is pushed slightly forward to stay in the magnetic center. Uh, same thing on this Thundercat Super Stock. You can see we've got more space by the rear magnet ring than we do in the front because this is high downforce. Check it. That attracts. Now this top surface will attract to the back of the motor magnet and the opposite on the other side. Notch side attracts here and the top side attracts there. Okay, so it's a very easy way to check the polarity setup on any car. All right, now, so if we move on to this um, T1 modified here, I've already spaced the armature for the sake of time. Uh, and this is a little trick. You can just use any stock hard rubber tire to keep the traction magnets from jumping out of the car. And what we want to know is the exact distance when it's assembled between, this has ball bearings, between the, the two bearings. What I used here are parts that are just common everyday parts, nothing custom made. I did modify them somewhat. These are Tomy uh, axle spacers. This has been turned down a bit. And this has been turned down a bit to slide in the front bulkhead without hanging up on the uh, 
brush barrels, and this is just a stock bushing here. All right, and if we measure the overall the overall distance of that, okay, we have 0.500, half an inch exactly. Okay, so that's easy to remember, but always write down that exact dimension. And it doesn't matter what it is, if it's 511, 537, doesn't matter, just write it down. And now we're going to put this car together with those pieces. And you slide the rear bulkhead in first, and it pushes the tire out of the way as you go. This has the front the pickup springs on there, so we'll be careful not to get those mangled. Okay. And we'll get that down in position. Keep the tire, because we're going to go back to that in a minute. So let's move these apart. We want to make sure that this extends past the motor ring, because we don't want to be measuring the motor ring. So if we get in here with the calipers and measure the space between here, See if I can get this in the camera better. Okay, we have 0.257. So if we add that to the half an inch, 0.5 and 0.257 is 0.757. Let's write that down. Okay, I've already as I said, already spaced this armature. And we have 0.751. So we have six thousandths of an inch end play, which is really perfect. Five to ten thousandths of an inch is good. Okay, and for this particular gentleman, He wants to know what's how many spaces in case he loses one, so and that's good to jot down for any car really when you're building it. This has three of the O20 spacers on the back, which are twenty thousandths thick each, and one five thousandths stainless spacer. So that's O65 total. In the front we have a black and a white. 020 and 015, and also a red stock tight fitting washer. That's an oil sealing washer, and you want to always make sure you use that on any car. Uh, really the same thing whether it's Tyco, Tell Me, it doesn't matter. It fits snugly on the shaft, and it prevents the oil from flowing up into the comm slots and getting on your brushes, which you definitely do not want. So let's get our bulkheads back out of the car and put this together. Okay, and we set our motor magnets aside here. A little hard to do in camera. Got this set up so I'm working around the camera. This gives a much better video than just a webcam. Alright, so we got the magnets in place and now we'll let me zoom out a bit. We'll use our motor tool to hold the assembly together. Again, slide the tip of the tips of the rear bulkhead in and push the uh, first we gotta get a motor tool in there, okay. It pushes the tire out of the way as we go. 
Let's watch the pickup springs. Okay, now it's down, in place, and here's our armature spacing. And as you can see, since this is low downforce setup, because we've got ceramic motor magnets and these strong grade 25 traction magnets, it's a low downforce setup, so the armature is naturally pulled toward the rear of the car. So, get that in camera more, you can see this is about the degree of difference in the spacing front to rear. All right. So, and another good check is to, or another method, different method you can use, or you can use both, is measure this spacing between the front, very front of the front bulkhead and the rear bulkhead, and we've got 0.901, and then you can try adding spaces to both ends of your armature slide the bulkheads on with the magnets and measure that measure that distance and that'll tell you your spacing if you measure 890 then you've got 10 thousandths and you can just check the see what the spacing looks like here and if it looks about right for the downforce setup you've got high or low downforce then you're going to be right in the ballpark. So I think that about covers armature spacing. I hope you guys found this helpful. And uh, I guess we'll close until next time.